Tao overflows, discovering the memories of past lives. My concern is not theoretical, it is absolutely practical. Therefore, my effort is that there should be such configuration of worlds that these emit tremendous energy to propel the process of transformation in some to give a new takeoff to the others as these overflows emerge from the deepest core these echo within you and when you allow these words and through these words energy to sink within you the process of transformation begins something you cannot is stop this is time and space management but transformation traveling in the past lives is the beginning you have entered into one life one relationship in this life it has left some memories which are indelible some are not helping you to grow and before you go into another relationship you have to understand these and come out of the psychology of these memories let me explain further a thought arises and a positive vibration is transmitted in the universe from there the vibration returns as encouragement happiness enthusiasm just to work etc so too out of ignorance and lack of understanding when you interact in a in a relationship a negative thought arises this too goes to the existence and from there from the universe it returns as sadness anger fear and discouragement that stops or delays the process of transformation that is why it is so important that you take care of the quality of your thoughts and learn how to cultivate more and more positive thoughts or allow the energy field of an awakened one through his message. Buddhist and Jain have used past life regression. It is a psychological process known as Jati Samran. Samran means remembrance to help few people to start their journey of spirituality. I am reminded of two incidents. One is in Gautam Buddha's life and another in Mahavir's life. A man takes sannyas, renunciation to enter the process of transformation, becomes part of the community of Buddha, but finds it hard, difficult and arduous, such as situation of someone of you. He is sad, depressed and thinks many times to leave it. This also sometimes you feel. So I have by continuously listening to these talks will help you to maintain the process. One day Buddha called him and told him to sit in front of him and go into the method of Jati Samran that is hypnosis. It is a method in the modern psychology method of hypnosis. But there is a vast difference between hypnosis and Jati Samran. He had not yet tried, so somebody gave him 
um, the instructions to go into past lives and it was amazing rev revelation for almost five years in the past he had taken the vow of renunciation and dropped it that has become a routine of his consciousness so buddha said you had been doing this again it is up to you up to you now but you have done it five times before it is simply repetitive you are wasting time either you stop taking renunciation and do whatsoever you want or be encouraged if you have taken it go into this it this time totally this should not be repeated five times five lives is enough and have been wasted looking at his own five lives the same pattern almost mechanically the same wheel moving first getting attracted to a great master just as it happens you get attracted to a man or a woman get initiated in the process of starting the relationship with great enthusiasm and then seeing the arduousness difficulties and problems difficulties in transforming the relationship and escaping renouncing the process of initiation itself and he comes back to it again and again such is the situation of each one of you how many relations you have entered into life and abandoned it buddha said you can do it as long as you want in your next life you will do it again and for five lives nobody reminded you because the masters that you were working they were masters they were not the masters who knew this process of jati samran taking you into the past the man remained it changed his whole attitude and perspective in life this is stupid if it is hard then it has to be faced it is if it is a challenge then it has to be taken and become one of the enlightened and in the process ultimately he became one of the enlightened disciples of buddha some of the people have said since they are listening to these talks there had been a total change in life in their understanding and some said that the the life is beginning to change there is a similar story in the life of mahabir a prince became enchanted with mahabir's individuality but he does not know mahabir's life is really arduous nobody has lived the way mahabir had lived naked in winter in hot sun hungry for months fasting eating once in a while barefoot walking on the burning earth burning um, earth in the hot sun he did not use shoes because shoes in those days were made out of um, the <laughs> calf supporting the industry of violence because the best leather comes when you kill a young calf if you want really perfect leather then you have to take the leather from the calf while it is alive you do not kill him first first you take the leather out and in taking the leather of course the calf dies that leather is the most soft and the best mahavir was absolutely against any kind of violence and he was not supporting it the prince became and naturally you you come to understand impressed by this man his integrity his life his authority his teachings he was not aware um that life with him is going to be tremendously hard and had lived 
a very luxurious life as a prince, but in a moment of enthusiasm he took the vow of renunciation and entered Mahabir's commune. Then ten thousands now ten thousand initiates used to move with Mahabir and they were staying in big caravan sarais and it was a routine that the elder ones that mean those who had been longer in the process in that initiation should have better place and the others accordingly this prince was just one day old renunciate so in the night he got a place near the door to sleep main door where people left their shoes umbrellas and other things he was the son of a king and by that door it was impossible for him to sleep people were constantly coming and going out when there are ten thousand monks it is natural he had never slept in such a situation and he immediately thought this life is not for me i would like next morning i will give my apology and say this is not the life for me but before he reached mahabir mahabir himself reached him and asked him to let him be taken into the process of hypnotic process of jati samran and it was the same process for three lives he had been doing the same thing getting impressed by the magnanimity of someone charismatic his charisma and then finding it difficult over small matters leaving them in all those three lives he could have become enlightened because those three lives were capable of triggering the process of enlightenment in him. Such is the situation of most of you. You have entered into the process of initiation. Look at this clearly. You have entered into one relation. When the problem started cropping up, you abandoned that, you came out of that. And without clearing the memories of that, you entered into another and created a chaos in your life. The Mahabir said, you have missed three lives and you are going to miss it a fourth time if you decide. You can decide, but you are a warrior, son of a king, not only a prince. Do not imp imp don't emphasize that you are a prince and you have lived a luxurious life. Remember that you are a warrior and you have been fighting in the wars all along and there is nobody in this area who is a better swordsman, a better archer than you. Don't insult your capability of as a swordsman and archery. Do not humiliate yourself. This leaving is an escape and that man remained. But the factor that helped these two men to remain was their reliving their past lives with some who have come in close contact. They have been taken into this past lives through different methods. So this process will continue until then take care and do have a pleasant life. Pleasant day.